Hey guys, my name is The One You Lost, and we're back here once again, and I'm going to show you how I drew this artwork of Fearin. So, the big thing that's kind of odd about this artwork was I did not go in with a plan this time. I kind of just winged it and wanted to see what I could make, just off the top of my head. Um, originally, this artwork started off as being Kanata from Hololive, and specifically the Japanese branch. But as I was working on it, I noticed it kind of looked a bit like Freeran. So I was like, hey, I would love to draw her. So let's go ahead and do that. I started out with this uh, lighting that was a bit more direct. But as I started working on it, I noticed an artwork by, um, by Dino, who I really liked his lighting and composition. And I wanted to try my hand at actually getting that effect. So everything with the rim light, with the warm light coming through the ears, some of that dust and particle effects. Another thing I did was I added kind of a soft glow layer to kind of make it pop a bit more. As you can see, I didn't like the eyes I was working on, so I had to do a lot of corrections there. Um, yeah, it was a lot of work, but it turned out pretty good. I then added those dust particles, used a motion blur to make them kind of look like they're kind of in motion um, with the line art again nothing so crazy I went for thinner lines this time because I wanted the rendering to be the focus and not so much the line art but like I do with most of my line art I still end up going hard on it because I really enjoy line art like a lot I also changed the eyes a bit here because I think these eyes look much better um, along with the with the uh, sideburns and whatnot. Um, I added more thickness to the to the twin tails, mainly because I think uh, it looks better with more thickness and kind of a tightness to the scalp. Um, I also changed the movement of the, uh, of the clothes because I felt like in the original, they didn't quite make it right. Um, but oh man, the hand. The hand was something that, for some reason, I got really right this time, and I'm super proud of it. Um, uh, one thing you might actually notice about uh, the hair and how everything's flowing is it has a, a movement to the golden ratio. So that's pretty cool. Um, I, to get the colors for the uh, character, I actually uh, tried matching the colors of Dino's artwork of Furin to kind of see if I could get within the same ballpark. And I think I did a pretty good job. It was a little bit tricky, but I ended up getting it. Um, so I added hard lights here. That way we could really focus on how dramatic the lighting is and the glow of it. And I do think I did pretty good here. I'm actually pretty proud of that. Always constantly remember the direction of the light that you're dealing with. It'll, it'll make things so much better in the end. I also um, added the shadows inside of it and again i use the one two three method of shading which is uh something that a lot of japanese artists do um i added some overlay and add glow layers to kind of add more of a color to the light make it more warm you can see i start adding some uh lighting on the edges i then added a soft glow layer Oh, and then I added the uh, dust particles again, and again used the um, the motion blur to kind of make it. Um, one thing you won't see in the recording, but I did do, is I added uh, some noise filter to it to kind of make it more dramatic. And that's how I made Furin. Thank you. Bye.